Hi everybody, Iowa Griddler. You see this cast iron pan on the griddle? It's got water in it. Why would I have water in it? I want it to boil. I'm going to be making poached eggs on the Blackstone. Let me, let me say that again. Poached eggs. There's no way you could do poached eggs on the griddle. You have to do it in the boiling water. But I've got a different way of doing it. Let's get over to the ingredient table, by the way. What would you have as far as ingredients on poached eggs? Eggs, toast. That's kind of it, right? A little bit of seasoning. Anyway, let's get over to the ingredients and I'll show you how I'm going to do it. All right? Okay, what kind of ingredients would you have for poached eggs? Hmm. Okay, eggs, right? Something to put them on. I'm using buttered sourdough bread. And these little things, these are called egg poachers. They're uh, silicon, and you put them in boiling water, which you'll see just a little bit. First, we're going to spray them with non-stick. We don't want the egg sticking inside of them. You see where this is going, right? Okay. I've got four eggs. That's in case one of them doesn't work out right. Okay. Well, I need something hard to hit them on. Okay, what I've got here is three eggs in the little pouch, if you can see it, and we're going to put them in the water. They're going to float in the water. So let's just go check it out and see how that works out. Okay, we've got the water boiling. I'm going to pull the lid off. We're going to set these little, let these float right in there. Okay, we're going to put the lid back on because we need to steam them a little bit. We're going to put the timer, five minutes. five minutes. Now this is what I do when I do it in the house. So we'll see how this works out. They're going to sit in there for five minutes and they're going to cook. Now if you don't know what poached eggs are this is it. They're eggs that are boiled in water. Now normally somebody would drop them into boiling water and they would poach them that way. The way I'm doing it hopefully is going to keep, it, keep them in a nice round shape so they'll look nice when I put them on top of the toast. Okay? Okay, while this is boiling and cooking, I'm going to put the buttered toast on the griddle. Shouldn't take very long for this to, to take care of itself. Okay, 
going to put this. Yeah, it's under a minute now, so this might go too long. We'll see. We'll see. All burners off. Lid off. Okay, now I'm going to take and let them see they floated right out. I'm going to let them kind of finish up in the water. Hopefully it won't be too long. There's the timer. How's that look, huh? Let's get it over here. Whoa. Let's shut that timer off. Can you see that little jiggle? Okay, that means that the yolk is still soft, and that's what I want. Got a jiggle. Yes, we do. All burners off. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, what we're going to see is the yolk is going to be soft and runny. So let me just slice through the yolk. See that? Oh my. Oh my. See that? perfectly round. One thing I forgot to do, salt and pepper. I'm not a big pepper fan, so just a little bit of color and a small amount of salt. Okay. Set this Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to slide this over. Set this right there. How about that, huh? So, watch this. Oh boy. Get a little of that yolk on there. All right, here we go. I say it every time. You know, I just hate to eat this in front of you, but this is so good. Mmm. Mmm. This is the first time I've made the toast on the griddle. That extra crunch that it puts on there rather than out of the toaster. Fabulous. Oh wow. I'm sorry, I'm gonna take one more bite. I wish I had a paper towel. Oh, there's one. Oh, that paper towel, that magnetic paper towel holder that is so handy. You know what? <clears throat> I'm going to whistle down the road. I hear it. Before I go, please like and subscribe. Ring that bell. I want to hear that bell ringing. All right? We're going to take this on down the road, whistling as we go. Iowa Gridler, see you soon.